What's up, everybody? It's your boy Andrew. Hope and pray that you're having a blessed day. You know I am. Uh, we're here at uh, you know YCS IHOP live on location. If you see, a little, if you hear a little one in the back, it's all good. We love the kids. Okay, so uh, profile, you guys. Uh, we have um, a layer of darkness and furnoids. I have no better name for that at the time, so don't kill me in the comment section for not having a snazzy nickname for it. Uh, just something I threw together last minute. I haven't, I didn't really put much thought into it because I got you know hit up. Uh, by one of my buddies uh, to go out to a, a local that's not even in my city and, and I really didn't have anything to play. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of try something new, etc. And then so I just came up with this. Uh, let me get into it real quick for you guys. Starting off, obligatory for, for noise 3 Decatron. It's literally every card in the game of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, 2 Aloku and 2 Divide. Um, you have to have these. I think the 2 and 2 ratio is just fine. Uh, got double stitiness, great spot removal, excellent beater, and then the one ton of LTK power, one jet for the uh, uh, feast play. That's it for the big guys. And then we got right there two Petrolia pop scars on the field, and two armor deck spot removal for monsters. That's it for the inferno as a whole. Hand traps, three ash because ash is just you know ash beats everything, and all the other hand traps right now it's you know, in the back grade. If it's not, obviously, if it's not named um, Reaper, but that's in the sideboard, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, they would get into our Lair of Darkness engine, three Arima, and then one Darkest Diablos. Uh, I want only run the one Darkest Diablos simply because it's searchable off of this right here, and then I don't want this, you know, to clog up my hand, uh, since I'm not running the full engine. And um, Arima is uh, really solid because of what you can do also, you can pitch it and search a field spell, so three, you need to run you know, as many copies of this as possible because the deck really pops off. If you don't, you don't see a field spell, it's really not that good at all. So you need to have your field spell you know, ASAP, and so this is right here is a good ratio, just that right there. And obviously, as I said, no Lilith because there's just not enough targets to search off of Lilith. I'm just playing, you know, Void Beast, and then the, the, the Lilith is just kind of useless at that point. Um, double Rider because I am playing a you know, little light sworn engine in it. And then one Jurgetto. I mean, yeah, we could consider this a hand trap as well, but at the same time, Jurgetto is good because what it allows me to do is, you know, either first or second. Uh, when I summon, especially summon, obviously I gain a thousand. And then when uh, my opponent, when I'm trying to get over something with my opponents, I can, if I have the field spell on the uh, field, tribute my opponent's monster, and then the monster I'm, uh, I target gains a thousand my points anyway, a thousand attack points anyway. So that's just a little interesting tech I threw in there. Didn't come up, but you know, in theory, it was, it was good. And then uh, probably the last monster once now. That's all. Get into the meats. Triple layer of darkness. This card's great. It's great. It's not as over the top as people think, though. It's pretty well balanced, in my opinion. Uh, I actually had a, we couldn't say it's a mirror. This guy who's playing Dark Lord um, Lair, which I will, you know, eventually make for you guys once uh, Divinity comes out. You know, show you guys how that works. But uh, he's playing Dark Lord Lair, and I was playing Inferno Lair, and you know, the interactions are pretty skillful. I actually like the card. It's uh, something different, and uh, it'll definitely see playing the meta. But anybody talking about it's going to turn the meta upside down and say it, I, I think that's kind of a stretch. Right there, but three layer of darkness. You need to see this for the deck to run the right way. This gives you all your advantage, etc. And, and if you don't draw this or if you don't have this, the deck is kind of in, you know, in meh, in my opinion. So, triple layer onto the void spells, void banishment, searches anything that you want in your deck, searches your feast, etc. Searches your imagination. Honestly, is in many cases, this is just like a one card win button. Uh, triple of the most absurd spell in the game, uh, not game, but in the deck. Avoid imagination. Like, if you resolve this, go, especially going second, chances are you just win. Like, that's just really that's all there is to it. If you, you know, sit there, you resolve this, then you in, uh, resolve the Inferno Tierra, which you're going to make off of that. And it's just like your opponent is in pretty bad shape. Uh, and that's it for that. And then we're going to run uh, Triple uh, Charge of the Light Brigade to our, for our two riding, just so we can have the free mills, whatnot. It, which is important. It's very imperative in the deck that you get your mills good, uh, you know, going because if you don't have the great right resources, obviously you're not gonna be able to win. And then for the one uh, one Raigeki, um, one uh, Monster Gate, one uh, Foolish, because it's Foolish, one uh, Reasoning, which is out three, and then one one for one. And then actually I do have two last spells, and that's two Call by the Grave. This card's so good right now; it's just <laughs> self-explanatory. And then uh, for, uh, round up the deck is double void boost. Resolve that and you probably have to say probably got probably in good shape to win the game. Extra deck ran one Tierra, mm -hmm. three Entis. I actually got me. I actually got me. Uh, Combo so there. crazy. It is. It's just absurd. Especially if you send it. You can either choose the one, one thing I like to do. You can either choose to send the three Entis off this and pop. Almost basically nuke your entire you know opponent's entire field, or you can send the two 
and one ratio, and then just get something right back from graveyard, like a hand trap or something, put it back in your deck. Mm -hmm. So that's right there. Got him in the Tierra package. One Minerva. You top your package. Mm -hmm. Baguska, Tornado Dragon. Mm -hmm. Just because they're super so good. Synchros, the one Omega, one Scarlight, one Beals. This is for a true Draco matchup. Didn't see mm -hmm. any of that. Uh, Scarlight steals games, and Omega is Omega. Mm -hmm. And Lynx, one Saryuja, one Boar Load, and then one Lynx. Sideboard played two raw spear mode. Uh, obviously, pendulums, anything establishing big boy. People works well against 60 card if they don't omega you to death. <laughs> and then uh, one raw. Triple Reapers. Just, mm -hmm. Like I said, just threw it together. It just seemed good. <laughs> you know, see if you can hit the Omega. See if you can hit the Boar Load. And, and like anything that you know, especially if you hit the Saryuja. Anything yes. that you know your opponent is using for engine. Triple D Barrier. Double Evenly. Double NS spell. And then just one Twin Twister, because that's always necessary. So it's just local, so I mean, I just figured these are more important than, you know, everything. Uh, then this right here is less important than you say you're Evenly, etc. So that's all I needed right there. And then finally, three Torment Tokens. <laughs> you know, free. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is your boy Angel. I pray that you have a blessed day, guys. That's the, the, that's the first incarnation of the deck. When Sai, you know, make it, like, competitive, or, like, if I was going to a regionals or anything like that, I'd definitely give you the, um, you know, updated version of that. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to take it to 60 card or just cut it down to 40. It was just like I said, a, a little intermediate deck I just threw together just to be able to play today. But it worked out pretty well for me. Got second place. And um, if you guys you know, have any critiques, any ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, this is me, boy Angel. Have a blessed day and peace.